Hi, my name is Jonas. This is Sublime Media, and on this channel, I talk about records and record related stuff. Like today, when I am going to take you on a trip through Germany and a little bit into France, also. Yes, I did a record trip to dig for records for one week in the lost land of Germany. <laughs> great food, great drinks, great people and awesome shops. And I'm going to show you the shops, talk about them and show you the stuff that I got from every single shop. So a little bit of a guide. But first, intro thingy. So let's start like we always do with the thumbs up and the subscribe thingy and the belly and also write comments because all these four things uh, is the best way to show appreciation for the channel because that way it grows it's flung out via the algorithm to even more people out there and I crave attention so if you don't give me attention I would be a crybaby for the rest of the week. I also have a shop called sublimemedia.se. It's mainly for the Swedish viewers here, but I can send to anywhere in the world. I've been on Discord for 20 years and I send to anywhere. So, so I mean, if you see something you'd like, just PM me and we sort things out, okay? But with that out of the way, let's go into the trip. I had an amazing week in uh, Germany. The drinks, people, everything just amazing. And uh, it, Germany is not new to me. I've been there to dig for records before in Berlin and in Hamburg. Uh, it's about six, seven hours drive from, from where I live in Sweden. So fairly, fairly close. But I never explored the sort of the south side um, and the west coast of, of uh, Germany. So I wanted to go a little bit further down to see what they had there. So I started my trip in Berlin. Uh, Berlin, especially for, I've been there before, but it's a great city to, to, uh, to just hang around in. Great foods, great dreams, great people, a great atmosphere. But uh, the main, main thing uh, is I want to, to uh, visit the shop Holy Shit Records. Toshten has become a good friend of mine. I met him two years ago. He's so knowledgeable and extremely friendly. Just the best guy in the world. And uh, he's the owner of Holy Shit Records that is located in middle of Berlin. And so the, it's easy to find. It's, it's, a sm it's a pretty small shop. It's two rooms. Uh, but every single record in the shop is great you know no half-ass records anywhere you can find great stuff on the walls great selection in the classic rock the crowd the folk you know and a great uh, jazz section also and i mean when i went there i started to dig for records in the crates and and uh, Torsten was playing uh, songs and and different records like ah, have you heard this and uh, you know it was <laughs>
and I blew like half of my budget <laughs> blew, blew in the shop. So one that he played in in the in the speakers was this this it's awesome uh, Aegis Wives uh, with Water of Seasons 1981 private press nuggets. This I would never find this in in Sweden. So awesome to to uh, get my hands on. This is Emma uh, Mildenberger, uh, also a private pressed kraut folk record. Uh, half of the tracks is amazing, half of the tracks Torsten said is just so so. But, and not super expensive, but I never find this stuff in, in, in Sweden. He also played a little bit of this, which just blew me away. This is Baumstamm with uh, On Tour. Um, obviously a reissue, <laughs> but uh, yeah, booming through the speakers. When I flipped through the, the, the crowd rock section, I found the Green Journey, which is a, a classic one. Not only the cover, but the music also. So nice to have. Uh, them, leaving Germany now, but them, uh, this is the, the Van Morrison band without Van Morrison. Maybe the third or the fourth one. And such an underrated record. This is a masterpiece. It's so good. Awesome to find that. Uh, I could dig through the, the crowd crates all day long and blow my entire budget, but I settled on this, the, the Kran uh, and the Nodger, it's, it's gonna be easy to sell in my shop uh, on the Spiegel label, yeah, brain fort, great one. Another more avant-garde record that I don't see that often is Universe Zero, this is the second French press. Really, really nice. A little bit more out there, maybe. Classic one in the more garage psych uh, department. Q65 Revolution. Uh, a little bit of a later press. We got for a great price, so didn't have that. Um, gonna be awesome to set up in the shop. One that would fly off the wall is this. This is so iconic. Edward Bruton Band, best sort of blues rock there is. Uh, first German press uh, on Harvester. Really nice. And one for myself. This is The Daily Earth Stood Still with Kim Fowley. And Kim Fowley was here in Sweden, produced records and also recorded, obviously. Uh, so I went to Germany to buy a Swedish record. <laughs> but uh, this is the second press of this. I needed this in my collection because I have the test press of this. And now I also have the, the record. It's a, it's, it's a strange record because sometimes it costs a lot. Sometimes it costs a little bit less. I uh, got it for a great price. So thank you so much, Torsten. And last but not least, in Holy Shit Records, I got uh, a US first press of Fly with Yoko ono. And if you haven't heard this, if you think you know Yoko ono but haven't heard this, check this out. This is, in my opinion, a masterpiece. Two LP set. Sure, it's it's on the avant-garde side. But if you want to explore and go a little bit outside your comfort zone, check this out. First US press. Thick cardboard sleeve, two LP sets, 1971, fantastic. So yeah, not only uh, did I want to to uh, to uh, visit his shop, and uh, but also get some inspiration because I'm opening my own shop in a few weeks. Uh, it's uh, on my property. It's going to be a fa fairly small uh, room that I'm going to uh, decorate as a shop, and I wanted to uh, by this trip have take inspiration. Who uh, that? How? does other shops work with the small sort of space that they have and also the the maybe the boring side of this hobby but but i love it it's it's the business side of it uh, i've chosen to go uh, not only to collect records as a hobby but also to sell records uh, buy and sell records as a company registered company and um have taken inspiration from Torsten is like you know he has his his fairs, uh, his Discogs account and his uh, shop and all of those separated from each other, and uh, so not to to mix up the records. Uh, very very insp uh, inspiring. So spending the day with Torsten wa was uh, very fruitful. So needless to say, if you are in Berlin, you go to Holy Shit Records, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. And also check out his Discogs page. There, It's very well curated. There's something for everyone there. Um, so yeah, moving on. Uh, just a stone's throw from a Holy Shit Records is Space Hall, I think it's called. Uh, I have been there before. It's not my cup of tea. Like It's more like t Techno House, but it's very uncharming. It's... Not, so I went in there, popped my head in and went out again. What I actually spent time on is a market that is in Berlin. 
it's an outside market it's every sunday there's a lot of like different trinkets and clothes and foods and food trucks and drinks and it's just amazing the vibe is crazy and maybe six seven sort of record uh, stalls and Torsten has a stall there too so yeah i dug through some records there it was awesome but i didn't find anything it's it's more like uh, they sell for the more nostalgic reason you know uh, the, the michael jackson's bad and uh, the avalon with uh, roxy music you know that stuff so if you're out after gr grail material you won't find that on the market but what you will find is great food great energy and great drinks <laughs> So I left Berlin and I went south uh, and the first stop was, was Rothenburg, uh, a town which is fairly unknown I think and uh, I've, I've read about one of the stores there, it's a, it's a music shop, they send, sell instruments but they have a small but very well curated like small section of, of records. So I arrived, um, checked into the hotel, went to the store and it was closed. <laughs> So that day they still they, they closed at 12 because there were some happening in the town where they I guess like rented out instruments and stuff like that. I have no idea. But I I had a currywurst and a beer and cried a little bit and then the day after that I went uh, even I think further down south to a place called Mainau and the Constance. Uh, because I read that there should be a record store called Studio One, which has a great section of, of uh, jazz and uh, and uh, German space rock and crowd rock records. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. I, I mean, a lot of CDs. I didn't have time to, to dig through all the CDs. I had a handful with the records, but fairly good wall um a good german se selection and and some jazz a lot of new reissues and stuff like that which i can get um here at home uh, but i actually found some stuff for for great prices and the guy was great with prices also i could haggle a little bit with him and and uh, get some some nice prices uh, so i got uh, association pc live which is a classic one not the first press I also got two Michael Reuter uh, records, one on Sky and one on, on Polydor, uh, so pretty nice. I think uh, like awesome sort of cards, vacation cards from Germany. <laughs> but the ones that I was uh, most happy about was uh, Between with the Darana, uh, which is a Vertigo record. And this is not a Vertigo Swirl, it's the spaceship label, but nonetheless I never see this and it was had a great price tag on it. I couldn't resist that. But the record that I was most happy about was a wall record. This is uh, Dead Forever with Buffalo. And I haven't cleaned this yet, but it looks awesome. The shape of the record, uh, the cover is so so, but the record is, is uh, super nice. And I got it for a fraction of what it costs otherwise. Um, yeah, a German first press, they didn't do a, a UK. Uh, version of that I think it's only it was only released in Germany and, and uh, Italy so nice addition to the Vertigo Swirl collection so yeah my trip continued uh, actually into over the border to France because I had read that uh, Strasbourg had two really good record stores that I wanted to uh, to check out and sure they were okay a lot of reissues um, a lot of new music and I'm after the, the old and, and dusty and and uh, you used <laughs> Uh, the first one that I visited is called Uncle Tom. So I went through the, the, the crates and as I said a lot of it's a very nice looking shop. A lot of like the, the selection is great. A lot of CDs also that I didn't have time to go through. Uh, but you know that stuff I can order myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm going for the used stuff. And on the wall was actually a little bit of a, a nugget that is going to be awesome to, to add to the, to the shop. This is Elohim with uh, Mana Perdu, a 1983 private pressed uh, progressive hard rock uh, nugget. It's, it, I mean, you can't find this here in, in, uh, in Sweden. Uh, and so yeah, uh, great one to to uh, to add to the to the shop. I then uh, went on down further down the road, and I mean Strasbourg is fantastic. The drinks, the the food, amazing. But the architecture, it's like visiting the entire town. Town looks like Harry Potter's uh, Diagon Alley. Uh, everything is like 
old and and super super charming uh, so i went further down the road and i visited the next shop and actually the last shop for the trip uh, which is called 33 and co and again the same thing not a super uh, big amount of use records uh, Great little shop, had a basement, you go down and it's like... But I managed to find, for a really, really nice price, I managed to find Robert Wyatt's uh, Rock Bottom, first French press. Nice one to, to uh, add. I already have this in my own collection, but to the, to the shop. Um, so, yeah. Uh, overall, a really nice trip. I think that you could do with just berlin uh, if you go further down i mean prices are maybe a little bit lower but then again you have to travel <laughs> so so uh but you see a lot of places you get a lot of inspiration the food and uh, the, the 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 drinks and the people the vibes it's just amazing so a great trip um so if you have the opportunity visit germany definitely uh, it's a great great country to dig for records and yeah that's it please comment i mean yeah sh share what stores in berlin and or in other uh, towns in, in germany that you have visited and that you like and also check out torsten's uh, holy shit records on on discogs to to see if there's something that you do like great a great guy so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in my next video okay have a great day so you made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much. You are truly a hero. And I want to leave you with uh, another recommendation. This is Sudden Death. Uh, 1972, the, uh, uh, the American answer to Black Sabbath. Let's just put it like that. This is on Ancient Greece Records. And this is heavy. The sound is as heavy as the cover artwork. On sublimemedia.se uh, right now. Go get it.